In this video, we are going to be doing a unit cross match. Uh, the procedure for this can be found on Canvas. It's called cross match tube method. Uh, for our patient who needs the blood, we have already done the type and screen, and the antibody screen is negative, so we can go ahead with our uh, cross match. Now, we are going to be taking uh, patient plasma and combining it with red cells from the unit. So what we need to get is a pigtail from the unit. Now this is a pigtail, it's plastic tubing that uh, has blood uh, from the unit in it that we're going to be hopefully cross-matching to the patient. And every uh, unit pigtail has a unique identification number. So for this one, here it is, it's printed on here, and we are going to use that number as our identification uh, on our tubes when we're testing. So the first thing you have to do is you have to make, you have to wash and uh, make a 3% suspension of your pigtail, which uh, I have already done over here. Okay, so we only need uh, one tube for this procedure, one tube per unit. So I'm going to write ID on it, 781 and put it right there. Okay, so what we will do is we're going to add two drops of patient plasma and one drop of unit red cells. Okay, we'll mix. And spin for 15 seconds. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here at this uh, tube at initial spin. Okay, the button is completely off and I don't see any kind of agglutination, so that is negative. Okay, uh, basically we're going to be going on to the uh, IAT, so that means we're going to add two drops of LIS mix slightly and then that's going to go in the heating block for 15 minutes. Okay, our 15 minutes have passed All right, let's go ahead and uh, spin that. All right, let's go ahead and check our uh, 37 degree. Okay.
Okay, it looks like that button is completely off, and that is a smooth suspension, so I'm going to call that negative. All right, now the next step is to do our wash phase, which I am going to uh, turn the camera off and come back to you in a few minutes because uh, we have to do it manually and it takes some time. I've gone ahead and decanted uh, my last wash. So basically what I have in the bottom of the cell is, or the bottom of the tube is just uh, cells and very little liquid. So now we are going to add our two drops of anti-human globulin. Mix slightly and spin. Okay, we are at the AHG phase. Let's go ahead and read this tube. Okay, that button is off and that is uh, smooth. So we're going to call that negative. All right, so just to go ahead and verify that our AHG re, uh, phase was valid, let's go ahead and add a couple drops, or actually a couple drops, one drop of check cells. Okay, we'll mix it up a little bit there. And centrifuge. Okay, so here we are with our check cells. Remember, these need to be uh, at least two plus. Okay, so that button's already off. We have uh, some pretty good size, uh, fair, fair size chunks there. Just a slight cloudiness of the background. I'm going to call that two plus. Okay, so uh, our check cells have checked the 2 plus. So this unit uh, is compatible with this person's plasma. So that person can go ahead and receive this unit.